podcast. And welcome to today's lesson. This is our scratch cat. They call him a sprite. We have a sprite over here. He's our little object that works within a game. If I go to that little icon, it makes everything smaller. This is our code section. And here's our categories for our code section. We're going to start off with an event, the click flag event. So this starts when we click on that flag, everything starts up. Because it's a very short lesson, I'm going to start off and move very, very fast and then provide the code in the Brian Evans studio for you guys if you need it. So now we go to the control. And the control is we've been learning about what's called a forever loop. It starts at the top and it goes to the bottom and it carries on endlessly repeating. So what we're going to do over here, we're going to take what we learned in our last lesson was all to do with the sensing bit. And we said did the touching, remember in the last lesson, the asking, and we had this. All right, so we, if we go to our controls, if, we're going to bring in an if, and if we say if a certain key is pressed. So if you go to the sensing part, if a right arrow key is pressed, if you press the right arrow key, in other words, Scratch Cat will move this way, left and right. So we're going to go motion, and we're going to know that we work moving on the x-axis. We're going to move in the x-axis. We're moving in the x-direction. So we're going to go to changing x, and we'll make it by 4. You guys can make it 10. I know that Matthew and Andrew did amazing uh, moving through the maze. I think it was at a t at 10, and the speed was quite amazing. So I've got at 4. If moving the right, it's moving in a 4. If I move the left, so I'm going to duplicate this. If I go there, I'm going to move the left arrow key, and then that's going to go minus 4. So it's moving in the opposite direction. If we go on the... Right arrow key, it's moving this way. Left arrow key, this way. And I'm going to bring in moving up and down. So I can duplicate this code. And I'm going to go with the up arrow. Drag this a bit up. Up arrow. And this must be a Y. Change Y by 4. And then if I go duplicate this and bring in another one. Then I bring the down arrow, that must be a Y minus 4. Down arrow must be Y minus 4. Now we're going to bring in our little bit of text-to-speech stuff. You guys can, I intended to set up a maze, but because of the time taken for roll call today, I'm just going to shorten everything. I want to go to changing the costume. So I'm going to go to looks. And we're going to go next costume to make our object look as though it's moving. So if I scroll down, next costume, and it'll make our object look as though it's really alive because there's animated aspects coming into it. So if I go here, you will see it in a minute. If I go there and I set it, look, and I move, look, it's like he's really moving. If I move the opposite direction, he's moving and he should have changed direction, but it's just giving the animation. And I'm just, you can, you can make him change any the way he looks, in which direction he moves. Probably it's not the best to have the scratch cat at this stage. I could have had something else. But now I'm going to bring in an object. I'm going to bring in another sprite. <clears throat> I'm going to go here, scroll down, and I'm going to add a sprite. That's one of the sprites that are in my... And you'll see that I'm just going to choose something re fairly random. And we're going to make the computer say something when it lands on that sprite. Um, there I've got a bear. Just going to delete. I've made two of them. Delete this one. And I'll just make one bear. And I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Make it 45. So when my scratch cat hits the bear, in Italian it's going to tell me the name of bear. This is just an example for you guys to build your own program. If I go 35, making my scratch, scratch cat a lot smaller. As soon as he collides with the bear, then I'm going to make that scratch cat is going to say something in Italian. If I move my scratch cat, look, he's moving up. And he goes to the bear. 
And as soon as he hits the bear, then he's going to say something. He's going to go and say that he is something in Italian. So we're using our previous knowledge that we had in text-to-speech to build this little program. <clears throat> Let's have a look at the sensing. I think that would be where two objects touch. We could choose the touching the color of the bear. So I'm, this is not the best way of doing it, guys. So I'm going to bring in another if statement. I'm going to go touching, and then we choose the color. Look, I click on the color. This is called a pick tool. And I'm going to choose the color of that bear. Then I'm going to go with an if statement. If, if it's touching that color. Then I'm going to say the translation in Italian. So we're going to go text to speech. So we're going to just look for the text to speech. Text to speech. And then we're going to say speak. And then we're going to bring in whatever this is and that we know is bear so we're going to bring in the word bear into the text to speech so we're going to speak that we're going to set the language to which language italian you can choose anything probably french should be great so i'm going to change my mind i'm making mine french translation of bear in french so we're going to go to translation and we're going to go speak translate bear to French. And I can see my translations in Thai. I can change it to Arabic. If I make it over in Arabic, it could be Arabic. So we'll go over here and just, I'm going to make a little block. You guys should be familiar a little bit with the blocks. I'm going to just say, say translation. Say translation. Very simple. And I'm going to put it over there. So that's part of that code. Then I'm going to bring in every time. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to copy and put it in, in each one of these spaces. I will make this available for you guys. And you're going to have to improve it. It's just a, a, a basic example which you guys can make into a real learning game. But it's just giving you the idea. So let's see if it works. Great. I want to start over here. So let's just... Bring in our, we start off, I'm going to move our scratch cat to there, and then we'll start off with our motion, go to X and Y, that's the starting position, and play our game, and we press on our start, and look, my scratch cat's moving, you guys can build a little maze around it, as soon as he hits on the bear, it should say the word, if touching, on that color, it's supposed to say bear. Where is my code going wrong? Let's have a look. Say translation. If touching, set language to French. Speak translation. Bear to. Ah, oh, I should be saying French. French. Set it. Start with my little scratch cat. He should, as soon as he hits the bear, he should say. Ooh. Oh, it's working, but my sound is rather s soft. Let's play again. Starts over there. My little scratch cat moves. Could have a whole lot of schoolwork. Every time it goes on, oosh. oosh. So in French, the word bear means oosh. oosh. Every time he hits against it, oosh. it's telling me something. Now, you could put apple, bear, house, a whole lot of French words, and you could build a little program that is using a maze even with different a bear, apple, all these different things in the maze. The little objects in the maze could help you as clues to find your way using the previous lesson that we did. I'm going to put this onto our, our project in the studio, and then you guys can work on it. Okay, so we're going to call it text to speech hit bear. I'll call it hit bear example because it's only an example. You guys must improve on it. It's only giving you guys a simple example, which you have to improve upon. I'm going to be posting it on the Brian Evan group. The instructions are, use this to build a better program. Better program to speak and translate with the mazes. 
It's not the final game. So we're going to add it to our studio. I'm putting it in the Brian Evans studio. This is how you're going to find my work. And you type in here, Brian Evans. And then you'll see it over here. It'll come up. And you search for Brian Evan. Click on Brian Evan. Look, there it is. TTS, text to speech, hit bear example. I've given you a whole lot of other examples that you can use to help you. I've made it very short because I don't want to waste your whole time with my lesson. Boys and girls, thank you for today's lesson. Go to this project and then you can access it and use the code.